Maryland juries hearing criminal cases must arrive at a unanimous verdict. Now, they don't necessarily have to be unanimous in the method by which they get to the ultimate decision. The, the opinions of the jurors can vary on, on, on method and manner, but the ultimate conclusion, the ultimate opinion, the ultimate verdict must be unanimous. Now, when a jury notifies a trial judge that there is a deadlock or there is a lack of unanimity in the deliberation room, the trial judge is typically going to give some additional instructions to the jury uh, to encourage and facilitate a verdict. Many years ago, the U.S. Supreme Court approved a specific type of instruction in a case called Allen, but Maryland courts don't favor the Allen instruction. It's it's uh, felt to be coercive to jurors because it encourages jurors to defer their views to those of their fellow jurors. Under Maryland law, juries are typically give what's, given what's known as an Allen-type instruction. Now, under this instruction, jurors are encouraged to re-examine their views, uh, to continue to consult with their other fellow jurors, uh, but they are also encouraged to hold to strongly held views and advise that they simply don't have to change their mind because other jurors feel the other way or because they feel that they have to reach a verdict.